Welcome everyone to Brighter Shores. This is essentially by the original or one of the original creators of RuneScape. And today we're jumping into this for the very first time. This is a free to play game. So the first, I believe two chapters are completely free. After that, then you either have to get a subscription or pay a one-time fee to continue further, but we're jumping into it. It looks fun. I loved RuneScape growing up. I had a great time playing. It was probably one of the the first MMOs I ever played, especially on a browser. Back then, you didn't have Discord or calls or anything like that. So you would have to physically pick up the phone and call friends when you were playing. It was uh, a good time. But for now, let's uh, let's hit play here. Let's jump right into this and let's see what we got. I uh, I've been checking the player count. They seem to be doing pretty good lately. This is an early access, by the way. So. Um, it's not fully complete. They say that it's going to take them about six months or so, or that's their current estimated time. So we'll see. Design your character. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is a decent amount of customization. It still has that very like RuneScape esque to it, uh, which is pretty cool. But you can tell it's uh, a little bit bumped up. I mean, it's got a little bit better graphics, I would say. I've tried going back to RuneScape uh, OSRS old school RuneScape a few times and I just could never really get back into it. I played a bit uh, on mobile though when that eventually came out. Let's see what we got here. Get some amount of hairstyles. Wait, what was that? I was okay. We'll go with something like basic. I don't know. Let's start with. Uh, can I turn my guy at all? Yeah. This just changes the style. Let's go with this one. And then what is this? Face. Okay. There's actually a decent amount here. What is it? This one's got his eyebrow up. That's funny. Doing like the rock. All right, let's go with this one. Eyes. I'll go with some like green eyes. Jawline. I've seen uh, some videos or some clips of the professions, and the profession the professions look actually pretty cool. They've got a lot of the similar ones from RuneScape itself, but then I feel like there's also a lot that are like you can be a barber, you can do like cooking in like a restaurant, not just like cooking by yourself. I think. A lot more like I guess you could say advanced I don't know but it has me excited I've been looking forward to this for a little bit um let's go with those all right pants I don't know probably end up going with some like black pants let's see it's a decent amount of options Yeah, there's actually a lot. I don't know. Let's go with like those. Or she could turn your character. But it doesn't look like you can. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we'll go with like a gray top. I know, very, very basic, but hey. It does the job. Oh my god, that's so... <laughs> All you need now is to make the guy bald. No beard, and you pretty much got the uh, bot character. I kind of like these. Uh, I think the short sleeve, well, the short sleeve's not too bad. So maybe even this. You know what? Let's do this. I think. I wonder how much you're able to like change this to, if you can down the line. All right, let's go with this. Boom. That works. Finished. Name your character, cast this plays. We'll see if that's available. It is. Names without the suffix are reserved for premium pass players. All right, let's see what we got here. Welcome to Brighter Shores. Click on things in the room to interact with them. 
Okay. It's going to take me a second to get used to this. All right. So right click zooms in and out. Left click moves the camera, but then also clicking places will. Yeah. If you click and hold, you can move the camera. All right. Let's talk to Captain Jal the Green. Aha. You must be the new recruit. Yes. Some cast displays. I've joined the town guard today and I was told to report to you. Cast displays, eh? Welcome to Hopeport Garrison. Thank you. I'm eager to learn how to be an effective guard. That's so. Well, here's your first lesson. Address your senior officers as ma'am or sir. You'll be given a hard time in training if you forget that. Uh, oh, yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Nobody likes the toady. So tell me, why do you want to be a town guard? Uh, I'm hoping for excitement and adventure. We had a lot of goblin problems lately, so I'm sure you'll be excited. You'll see excitement soon. Luckily for you, we have excellent career opportunities since we've lost the squad in the mine of Montuban. Map updated training ground. Now head to the courtyard through the door and speak to Corporal Bins to start your training. Wait, you lost the whole squad? Should I be worried? Hmm. Oh, we sent a squad into the mines to see why the local goblins were getting so aggressive. We've not seen them since. You should concern yourself with other things, like reporting to Corporal Bins. Okay. Apparently, they, they did the similar thing with RuneScape, where anything you see in the area, you can interact with, and there's like a little information. Uh, a piece of goose in a pot of black goo. Open the quest panel to uh, see here. Open the main story quest by clicking here. This area shows your progress in the quest along with the reminder of any instructions, clues you have received. This is the first place you should check if you are unsure what you should be doing next. Walk to the training ground. You can walk around clicking on the ground tile which you wish to stand on. Click on NP ground tile or outside the door to walk to the training ground. It would be nice if they had some sort of like WASD walk-in. That's the one thing that's always... Uh, as much as like I don't mind the click clicking too, but still. All right, so we have to go report to Cap Corporal Bins. Where are they at? Jeez. Oh. Corporal Bins, there they are. Talk to. Reporting for duty, sir. Though Captain DeGreen is scrapping the bottom of the barrel for recruits. Okay, well, head to the quartermaster in this building here and collect your standard issue materials. Then you need to learn some guard magic. Talk to Anjay to the west. He's Hopeport's magic suppressor. Tell him you need guards access to use magic. Once you've done all that, report back to me. I'll get right on it, sir. Okay, uh, open the backpack. You've gained a backpack item. This area displays which items you have. Okay. So we need to go inside of this building here. To the quartermaster. Hello, mate. What can I do for you? Been sent to fetch my guard's equipment. Okay. This sword is standard issue for new recruits. Please look after it. You talk to Anjay to get your magic access. Okay. I think we actually saw Anjay down here. And this game is online, too. I mean, right now, we're, of course, in the tutorial area. So it's going to put us here. But then I'm assuming after we're done this, it's going to put us into the open world with other players. I sense that you wish to talk to me. You told to ask for guards magic access. Since I've been asked... I sense that you've been told to ask for guards magic access. Yeah, very clever. Okay, I'm going to check your magical signature. Wow, your aura is unusual. Unusual? How's it unusual? Hard to explain. However, your match, your request is fulfilled. You are free to do magic in Hopeport. That's all well and good, but I don't know any magic. We have a guy who teaches some useful spells for new recruits, and I suspect you have aptitude to learn. Look for Soltar Malzak. Zach, he can be a little full, to, full of himself, but he knows his stuff. Look on the spells by learning here. You have unlocked magic. Okay. Oh, we can also see a mini-map. Okay, nice. That's good. 
Does it actually, if I hover, who do we need to talk to again? Get a sword, learn the guard's magic. I am training with uh, Soltar Malzak. Somewhere over here they are. Many greetings to you. I am Soltar Malzak, the eminent mage of the Hopeport Guard. I'm told that you can teach me some magic. I can, but first I want you to test your aptitude for magic. All right, what do you need me to do? Visit the port stone to the northwest and reach for the magic. Something that I miss. Portal. Come back to me when you've done that. Okay. We make way. By the way, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving likes helps a ton. Uh, it And I mean, I'm planning on maybe recording like two or three episodes of this. Because uh, I might just play it for myself either way instead of on the channel. But if it gets more likes, then of course, the more, more it does, uh, it gets more episodes I'll try to put out and try to get on it sooner. This could be like one of my cozy games. There's another uh, similar style game, not necessarily similar, but medieval called Mirthwood that comes out also today that I might check out. It kind of reminds me of like a medieval Stardew Valley in a way. But it has like plague doctors and other stuff like that, which seems pretty cool. So keep an eye out for that. At your service, I visited the portal stone like you asked. Excellent. Try out the new spell you've learned. Oh, so now we can, let me guess, go back to the portal. Yep. All right. That worked. We make our way back over to him. I'm back. Is there any more magic you can teach me? Shall teach you the sense spell. Okay. Do so we now have the sense? Double click will only see important items. Oh, okay. And that's also control S. I like that. So there's actually a keybind to it. Corporal bins. The alarm. Goblin attack. Oh, God. Quad one, move out. Squad four, move out. Oh boy. See, like, this is cool. Like, the close up on the characters. McLeod Lee recruit. A mob of goblins has breached the walls. We need all hands to help defend the town. Fetch the other recruits, Germaze, Delana, and Toblane, and meet me here at the garrison gate. Sir, yes, sir. The music's pretty good so far, too. Can I open up the... Uh... Alright, so let's see. There's Anjay. South gate of the training. Oh, maybe they're down here. I did see some people. Are you one? No, you're just a guard. Never mind, not you. Surely they're here somewhere. There's one. Isn't it great to be a guard? Everyone will respect us for our natty uniforms. Goblins are evading. Head to the barracks gate. Oh dear, I'm expecting a fight, but I've mislaid. Uh, I'll help you find it. Thank you. Where'd you see it last? The barracks I had it took a little nap earlier. I can't remember seeing it since. Maybe Jermay took it while I slept. That guy doesn't like me. Okay, so we need to find the... Uh, 
is this guy. You look flustered. Everything all right? Goblins are invading. Head to the barracks gate. Time to fight at last. Wait, wait, wait. Search for the barracks for the bow. Okay. Go Blaine. I think I may have mistaken becoming a guard. Goblins are invading. Head to the barracks gate. They sound kind of scary. I think I'll stay here. Stop being so wet. I need to go. Uh, Binzi won't be happy. Are you sure you want to annoy him? The rap Wrath of Corporal Bins does sound scarier than goblins. Okay, you persuaded me. I'll see you there. All right, so we need to find or try to look for... We found some copper. We're getting some cash. Uh, we found that. Open the tool belt. You have gained some money. This area displays how much money you currently have. Huge monument piece. Maybe it's this one because the guy was standing right there. Nope. Come on, surely it's somewhere. I thought I checked this one. I mean, the rest of them are showing opened. This is the barracks, right? I keep pressing M. Oh wait, there's a... Uh... Oh, is it the bed? It looks like you can interact with the bed. Search. You find a bow down on the back of the bed. There it is. Yeah, I could see on the map some of the beds you can actually uh, investigate. Wait, is there still more that can be found in here? Oh, even if you open up the trunk, there's still more that you can get. Okay. We're <laughs> finding a lot of a lot more. Does it regen? Oh, maybe it's regening. Hold on, let me see this one. Is this regen? Is this an infinite money glitch? <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Hey, here you go. Talk to. I found it down at the back of your bed. Okay, open the quest panel. You have gained an item which is part of the main story quest. Items can, which are only used by a certain quest appear here. Meet them all at the south gate. All right, I'm ready. Oh, need to equip your sword before we get moving. Oh, um, backpack, here we go. Equip. Open the weapons. You can equip up to three weapons, which will appear here. When in combat, only weapons you equip beforehand will be available for use. Once combat starts, you have no longer changed which weapon you have equipped. Got it. Walk to. Alas, you're all here. If you lot were any slower, the goblins would have died for an old age. Uh, died of old age. If we can kill them that way, we could wait safely and in here until they kneel over. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, recruits, through those gates. Let's move. Wait, hold on. We got to pet the cat. Wait. Some good luck pets. All right, we're good. Go, go, go. Stone Street. Whoa, those goblins look very interesting. Help defend the port. Fight those goblins. Attack. Oh, so I can use my fists or that. Oh, 
There's one. Open the professions panel by clicking here. You have started learning the guard profession. To view your progress, click this here. As you level up further, look to see what new activities you can do to progress more quickly in this profession. Sparring guard. Not today. Oh. You don't actually have to click. I was clicking every time. I forgot it's like auto attack. Got him. You are saved. Would you come over here, please? I require assistance. Sure. Marcus Mint. Hey there, I could use your, uh, some help, young men. What do you need? I need help rescuing my wares from the goblins. I reward you well. Could you grab that heavy crate, please? I don't think you realize how incredibly important these items are. Quickly now. Okay. I got it. Town Square. All right, right over here. Talk to. Load the crate into this cart. That'd be great. I love how quiet it got from moving from back there to here. Take this reward. Oh, thank you. Oh, got a bit of a payout. Need to get back to Stone Street now or we'll be having Cleany the whole training ground with a toothbrush. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Get here this instant. I'm coming. All right, talk to. Where are the blazes did you disappear to? I was helping out Marcus Mint. Who did you just make that name up? It was just over there. He's gone now. I have another issue right now. Captain De Green has been seriously injured. Oh boy. The pot to carry. Yes, sir. All right, let's get in here. What do we got? Ebsworth. The goblins outside haven't been able to restock the regions. I need my help for my potions. You need to come quick. Captain DeGreen is lying hurt in, in Stone Street. I'll see you there. Oh, wow. Got here fast. Whoa, that must be like a portal door. I have to make up a healing potion, which is going to be tricky when I'm cleaning out the brown kelp. Can someone please run and fetch me a piece? Bring Ebsworth some brown kelp. You'll need to head south to the waterfront and then head west. Okay, we're going. So south to the waterfront. This area is locked, so you have to go this way. Eel Street Bridge. Oh boy. Back. Turn that down just a little bit. Okay. Go again. Wait, there's a fish. Congratulations, you are level one guard. All right, 98 to go. Actually, I don't know what the cap is, but. Current active foes, sparring guard, death crow, thief, lobin, lo goblin, goblin, goblin soldier, goblin chief, hairpiece, carbonist plant, and ghoul. Wait, there's an eel right here, I see. Or was? Discover. Oh, okay. Wait, uh, fish. To help 
you remember what things are, each discovery you make will be added to the map. A view on the map will button will sh like this will be enabled for each thing you have discovered. Cool. Okay, so anytime we see like question marks like that, then I'll, I'll uh, keep going or at least click on it. The floor. I buy and sell fish. Okay. Show me your wares. That's all that as an option. Okay, so we had to get to the. It was the waterfront, right? I can find some at the East Beach, and then we get got to head west. The ambiance of these areas sounds really good. I don't know if I should be talking to those. That guy seemed like he might have needed help. When we get out the tutorial, I'll, I'll explore, of course. I hope this game does well, though. It seems, I mean, so far it seems pretty cool. And if this is early access state, then, I mean, a lot can change over time. I saw that some of the things that they're adding already is a fifth location. Uh, PvP is not in the game yet. I think that's something that they're adding. And then I forget what the third thing they want to add before release. Like 1.0. Small crab? Hello, little crab. Click, click, clickety-clack. <laughs> okay, that's a little... Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to do this more often. I'll the injure captain find some sort of. Uh, so we need to keep going, I think. There's rope right there. Yeah, you can actually see all this stuff that you can interact with. Go this way. East Beach. A bunch of... Oh, there's uh, kelp. Forage. Should take this back. So these are amber. So I'm assuming that they're probably not hostile. Let's discover crab. And then there's also some fish over here to discover. Flounder. I'll take this. Must be at least a level six forager to uh, forage horn shells. Man, I, I've, out of so many times that I've gone back to, uh, the crabs are there are huge, to RuneScape or tried getting back into it, I've wanted like that, that fresh experience or oh wait might be faster doing this teleport i've always wanted to go back but it's always the nostalgia that brings me back at first and then it's like the mechanics and the grindiness that i end, end up eventually falling off again which as a kid absolutely loved it that's what i, I did literally every single day and i'm sure this probably has some grind to it too but it's nice having like a fresh new experience where everyone's starting on, you know, the same, same page, I guess you could say. And I did see there was like a single player style RuneScape game that just released too. I forget the name of that one, but I was looking at that for a little bit. Yes, here it is. Well done on finding it. I need to make the potion. Could I help? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to do it. There's quite a bit of stations in the apothecary and the regent uh, regent preparation. One is chopping the board on my. Pop back to me in the preparation once you finish making it. Okay, so we need to go inside of the shop. This thing. Passive post potion station, or is it this one? Uh. Go to the regent preparation station. Aha, here it is. 
this one. So we use this, we go to this. And then it's going to pre prepare this for healing. We got two of them. Okay. Now what? They bring the preparation to him. All right. Get back out there. Yeah, this is pretty cool so far. I like this. Have you prepared that brown kelp yet? Here it is. Don't think you should leave the captain. We'll risk you finishing the potion yourself. Take this bottle of preparation to the standard potion station and make it a healing potion. Okay. The one thing that I do wish that they had, which uh, one of the reasons I have gone back to like RuneScape or tried doing RuneScape 3, like their modern version, is because it does have voice acting, which would have been pretty nice to see, but... Scan to container. Containers do not take space in your backpack. This area displays how many containers you currently have. So we need to go to the standard potion station now. This one. Use this. Because as you can tell, I mean, I could just go to each conversation and just click through it and let everyone read through it. But I, I read pretty fast sometimes. In my head, not out loud. Otherwise, yeah. So, plus, if you're watching this on, like, a second monitor or whatever the case is, first of all, I appreciate you because thanks for watching. But it can be hard to follow along. All right, so we just need to bring this back. So we're handing this potion in. Wait, is this saying give it to Captain the Green? There you go. Drink some of this. <sighs> the fine medicine. Starting to feel better already. Good. We have dispatched the last of the goblins. Good work. Everyone get back to the garrison. Okay, you, you miserable lot. <laughs> You've heard the captain. Now move. Cast this place. Report to me when you get back. All right up corporal bins captain wants me to commit uh commend you on a good job out there so yeah well done thanks quad three returning and green eye what news that's ma'am to you sorry ma'am i thought we were closer than that not why you're on duty corporal corporal in a way you wanted news? We just got back from Timberwell Village, routed a bunch of goblins from there. The world is getting more dangerous place. Talking of danger, we have new recruits, such as Cast Displays in here, in need of learning the immunity spell. Sure, I can teach that. Spell prevents. Oh, I missed that part. You can use it during combat if you need a retreat. Learnt immunity. So, what's it do? Info, a magical uh, shield which prevents enemies from attacking you for a short while. Now what? Talk to Corporal Bins again. Next job will make you take... Uh, wait, next job... My next job will be to take you on a training drill to the forest, but you need a little more training before it is safe for you to go into the forest. I need you to complete the bow training with Robin. Ooh, bow training? We're standing over there in the archery targets. I also needed to train to total uh, to le at least 60. Do you have any suggestions? The guard profession itself is mostly about combat experience. However, it's not just guard profession I want you to train in. For example, the professions of a chef, forager, a fisherman, and alchemist all include things which are useful for a guard to learn. Also, Commander Hackett can often use a hand in the town gates. I'd hope you use your initiative and search for opportunities. Whoa. Okay. Um, so we like were in this area until I guess we hit 60 and something. Wait, let me see. Get my total hope port level to 60 and then report back to him for training. And then we need to get my bow training. Uh, what about the chef profession? 
Your best bet would be to head to the chef at the delectable dab. Uh, guard? Once you've learned enough sparring, the next clearing up with hostiles in the area will be a great service. Tell me about Commander Hackett. They're currently guarding the East Gates. Hackett has some complaining he's shorthanded, so he might have something useful for you. Okay. Um, what about the Alchemist? Draw yourself firsthand how vital the potions are when you made that. You can practice by making more potions or check out the recipe book at the ap apothecary shop to see what other potions you can make. All right, I'll get to training. Open the settings here. You can now meet other players. You can choose which kind of interactions you wish to allow this law with your privacy settings here. Your character with name, nobody. Oh, wow. You can really do everything. One sec. All right. So these settings allow interactions with players in the same room as you. Which nearby players can see your character name? Anybody? That's fine. Which nearby players can chat with you? I'll do anybody for now. We'll see. I don't know if this game is going to have any bots at all or what the case is, but who can receive invitations? Anybody? Sure. I'll open it up. Who can see if you're online? Who can direct a uh, message with? So I wonder if now it'll like turn into open world like and we can see other players okay so who did i need to report to i uh, robin oh when you click on the training ground it does it just show the area okay there are. yeah i definitely want to learn archery you show me how to use the bow I only have time to teach the most promising recruits. Half of you won't last a month anyway. Do some more combat training with your sword first and come back to me when you're at least level 15. All right. Well, I guess we're going to go train. Fighting this does not give you XP. Oh, Sag. Need to reach guard 15 and then report back to him for more training. Or heard him for more training. Oh, it actually shows you all the other quests nearby. So Belize, I can start this quest by talking to Commander Hackett. What's over here? Oh, sparring area? Who's this? Oh, it's the sparring guard. Oh, this is the person that you get your points up. If you want to retreat from battle, you can click here to cast a new immunity spell. Don't leave it too late as there's a few seconds to cast. I like that it warned me earlier that Nice. Level three. So are these other players then? Oh yeah, I think these are actually other people. Now that I walked into a new location, yeah, like Willy G, Leaf One. Okay, yeah, these are actually other players. That's kind of cool. All right, let's attack this one. Wow, that was like seamless. Right into a new area. Not bad. What happens if I help? Oh, I can't. Already engage with another player. So some of them regen. Oh, they they regen pretty fast. Hey, this is that call out right now. We're 40 minutes into this episode. If you are enjoying it, again, leaving likes does help a ton. Let me know your thoughts on whether you're planning on jumping into this game or if you've played RuneScape in the past. I I'm curious. I, I know my audience, for the most part, is a little bit older. So most of you are around that 
the twenties to, to like early thirties. So I'm sure some of you have, but I'm really curious how many are I uh, like actually whether you still play it today or not too. Anything at all. Definitely gonna try to uh I, I think I'll probably record at least two episodes today of this. Oh, it's still, still pretty loud. I'll turn these down too. This game was blaring when I first got it. All right, when I first booted it up, some of the sound effects were insane. So I need to get to... Guard 15. We can go try to do this. Because it shows no stars here. I'll finish this fight and then we'll make our way there. Not bad. Okay. We almost hit. You know what? Actually, let's hit five. We're so close to it. We're like right there. It's nice how fast these regen, though. Oh, it's close. It's be... Come on, hit me. Get me to five. Boom. There it is. Were they? They were dropping gear too, right? Yeah, they did. They actually dropped some armor. And they dropped a better sword. Oh, wow. You can view and unequip your equipped armor. Okay, and then what was this thing? A huge mountain uh, monument piece. Use that the fallen monument. Seaside rock shop. Monument pieces bang. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy went exactly RuneScape bot. That's funny. Wait, 15? Okay, yeah, now we're actually starting to see people. That's cool. I'm gonna look and see what the, uh, or how much some of their names are just like 20. Like a number. Oh, or is that their level? They're, they're, they're like overall level? Bot. Bot <laughs> number 14. I think that's their level. Beef house. All right, so we need to find this. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Town gates. There's a cat again. Wow, this place is is popping. Got the cat, of course. Evan. Okay. Yeah, this this seems pretty cool. So we're down in the town square right now. Um, all right, we've got some stuff over here to discover. Wall plant. Can I forage it? Need level two forager. What was the person's name? Commander Hackett. Old Street East. What's over here? Tim's Alley. There's a bar there. Something. Discover the Death Crow. Town Gates. Here we go. Commander Hackett, where are you? North Walls. Are they up? Yeah, they're on the walls. Uh, okay. I did see some people running this way. So that would make sense. Here we go. Good day, recruit. Good day, sir. Uh, Corporal Brin said you needed a hand over here. 
He's not wrong. Constant goblin incursions are wearing down our men and equipment. I'll give you a new sword to help fight. Just received this new or ship, uh, shipment. The key arrived separately for security reasons. I've got a man fetching it now. Commander, here's the key. Uh-oh. Watch out! You little blighter. After the goblin. Wait, can I open the sword crate? No. Is this little goblin thief? He's level 10. Uh oh. Come on. Oh, this is going to be close. Nice. Got it. We got the crate key. I mean, this the sword that I got was a little bit better than before. I have it here. Hand it over then. Got it. Uh, use the item. Here you go. These swords haven't tuned yet. Wait, what do you mean? Big op opalus, uh, obelisk. Much of the armor and weaponry in the world has tuned at the magic obelisk to be powerful within the vicinity of those obelisks. Thus, any armor or weapon which hasn't been tuned is comparatively very weak. These swords need to be tuned to uh, to be strong in hope port. Take them there. Okay. Hope port obelisk. We haven't gotten there yet. Where is that at? Need to tune these at the hope port obelisk. All right. Oh god, why is the camera like so high up? You know what? I'll fight them. Sure. They attacked me. I'll do it. Uh-oh. Hit him. Hit him back. Come on. Oh, no. This is going to be so close. Way too close there. Guard level six. Nice. All right. So we need to get over. You know what? Let me just walk in here just so we unlock it. Nabeth's house. I'm trying to stay. I mean, it can be very, very easy. I'm assuming to get uh, sidetracked. Okay, we found the pipe alley. So we need to find wherever this is. Is there a world chat too? I haven't seen that yet. There's a kid hiding behind the post back there. Oh, I saw the kid playing hide and seek too. Eel Street Bridge? So many people fishing. Oh my god. Eel Street? What's over here? Will Hope Crossing. Central Waterfront. The Boardwalk. Um, okay. Oh, there's the rock shop. Oh, that's amazing. Being able to pull this the map up like this and see things that you can discover in the area or like if you're looking for something specific that is such a great quality of life feature i absolutely love that the hooked hand can i like click on the map too or no no way oh no that would be cool if I could like click here in this little square and then all of a sudden it goes all the way up there. Yeah, that's that's such a great feature. What's down here? The scrap yard? Okay. Just trying to find the obelisk thing. 
overgrown pond. Did I do type? Oh, com community server offline. Uh-oh. <laughs> I wonder if they've got too many people. Oh, boy. No, nobody can chat right now. Yeah, that's uh, I can see the icon right here. What is this? Oh, you can run around with this stuff, too. Yeah, the UI here is pretty good, I would say. All right, let's go to the town square, and then I'll try going to the right there. Because it looks like I haven't explored over here yet. Renouf Boulevard. Oh, Port Oblice. Here it is. Found it. Uh, okay. Use item. So we need to use this and the other one. Not going to work at the moment. This thing's bust. Uh, I need to use it. It'll be hard, kind of hard when it's broke. To help fix it? Could do with some help, thanks. The Oblice got highly damaged during the goblin attack. Notice the down spike is missing there. The goblins probably knocked it off. Who knows where it is? We're by a fast flowing river, so we have a good guess where it's at. Somewhere downstream. Okay. So we need to follow the river, basically. Oh, let's uh, discover this. Harry Winkle. Oh boy. I'm I'm kind of getting it. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about this because I'm kind of really digging this so far. It's got me a little nervous. Okay, there's another stream here. Oh, there it is. Missing spike. Like, I'm not much of a uh, life gatherer type person, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know how to explain. Like, uh, I don't really care that much for a lot of that type of features and MMOs, but I feel like RuneScape, the way that they've always done it, was always so appealing, even with, um, it's so simple. You know, you click a thing, you're now fishing. It, it's not too, too complex. And sometimes it was really rewarding. So I can totally see it like getting into this too. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spitting, spitting off the, the dome. <laughs> All right. I got it. Found that missing spike. All right. Try to put it back on. Use item. Plus, I mean, like, this is pretty cool. Actually seeing a little animation. This doesn't seem to fit. Let me have a go. I think that these plumes of ice magic might be holding on to the other spike. A bit stumped at the moment, but Captain DeGreen did give me this tablet, which shows how to fix it. Take a look. Give me an instructional tablet, which supposedly shows how to fix the thing I read. It has some signals you don't understand on it. What does Maricina expect me to do with this? Maybe... Nabeth will know. An old philosopher. She's very likely, uh, very much into ancient cultures and like. She lives near the town gates. Take it over to her and see if she can help. All right. Let's go over there then. What's this? Community. I think that just shows players emote. <laughs> okay. Try to see if we can uh, fix this before we wrap up this episode, but 
might be getting a little close here. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, shoot, I'm going the wrong way. Crap. All right, I'm already lost. Yeah, we need to go back to the town square. Where are we at? Recenter. Yep, we need to go this way. Through here. Wow, it is packed right now. <laughs> Wait, is that a line? Uh, it looked like a line for a second. Oh, Nabath's house. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We walked into this one of the areas I walked in for a second. Hello, Nabath. I'm told you might be able to help me interpret it. Uh, this tablet. It's interesting. This looks to be an ancient Kren. In fact, I have some stones with that exact symbols. I rescued them one time when Captain the Green was having a... Maybe those, uh, there'll be some of the fixing obese. I received the sigil tiles which match the symbols on the instructions. They may somehow be relevant to fixing it. Is that person's name max level? I think it might have been. All right. Let's keep going here. Through here. And we got to go. Wait, where is it at? Oh, shoot. This I'm still getting used to the map. I apologize. As with any game, it always takes a second to get used to it at first. All right. So we're back over here again. Use item. Let's go with this. Oh, wait. Uh, let's talk to the corporal. They gave me symbols. I haven't figured them out yet, though. Info. Info. Let's try one of these. Use item. Nothing happens. Doesn't seem to be a way to use this. Doesn't seem to be a way to use this. Let's try this one. It's unlikely that will suddenly work now. You know what these tiles are for? I guess try experimenting in this area with them and see what you can come up with. Oh, the ancient posts. Okay. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay. Is there any type of indication on... Oh, maybe the tablet. So we look at this. Ah, there we go. Things in the center. I see, I see. So bottom left is going to be the arrow looking one. Aha. Okay, arrow there. Bottom right is going to be the zigzag. top right is going to be the key and then the left is going to be uh the thing from pokemon e and then left is going to be this one the electro guy oh Wow, an actual cryo knight. I've been summoned somewhere that doesn't normally happen. The dire emergency for me to have been called forth thusly. Okay. Uh, let's talk to them. Why have I been summoned? What dire emergency have been brought forth? The obelisk is broken. 
Did someone for mirror text award? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and back on again? <laughs> okay, that's actually good. I think the problem might be this broken spike. It won't join back on. Let's see what happened. The cryojet isn't working. Simple fix. That. Dude, that's actually good. Why isn't the magic working? Have you tried turning it off and on again? Don't be silly. My magic doesn't have an off switch. <laughs> Maybe our magic suppressor is blocking you? I've not seen them in a while. That would explain it, certainly. I'll need to be unlocked if we fix it. I'll go talk to Anjit. Damn, it keeps on going. Okay. Wow, I thought it was going to be like a simple fix. No, it's unlikely that was suddenly working. All right. Well, let's see if this doesn't wrap up this quest here, then we will call the episode. Um, but I, I, I'm going to try to record another one. So I don't want to go too long with these because you never know. Um, plus, I got to take a little, little break between this. All right, NJ, where are you at? Right over there. Talk to. I guess if they have like the dot 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 thing, they have something you can talk to. Um, we need to grant magic access for the crowd knight. There's one trying to fix it. All right, I'll see you there. Cool. It'd be nice if there was like a quick way back. Go go go! Wow, this is so cool. Seeing everybody on like day one. You know, getting used to the game. When I first checked the player count, it was at like 13,000, which isn't nothing. It's nothing crazy, but um, it seems like it's been doing pretty positive so far. Okay. You sure it's safe to grant magic access? It'll be fine. Getting through it a little bit. Your aura is strong and somehow familiar. Familiar? Hard to explain. Anyway, you're free to do magic and hope for it. Try the spike now. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. All of this just to enchant the weapons. But it's a cool little quest. Going in, in order. Fixed. Let's see if this works. Come on. Nice. Seems to be working now. This one is over. To this one as well. All right. And now we can go hand this in. Let's go see what we got. We're handing this in. I think it was this way. Hopefully. Uh oh. I going the wrong way again. Where am I? Facing this way. I am going the wrong way. For some reason, I keep thinking that it's down south there. It's the town square. The town square is just the center. For some reason, I keep thinking that it's like in this area and then to the left. Here we go. Botting. <laughs> I hope these people don't like it, it, I'm sure a lot of these bots are not actually bots. I'm sure there are some too, sure. But I hope the people that are, you know, doing it as a joke, if they are doing it as a joke, I hope that they realize they could potentially, you know, get flagged as like, oh, it's obviously a bot. Even though they're they're kind of joking. More of a hassle than you might expect because the obelisk was broken. Broken. The use of the hope port obelisk, uncommon wall guards. Uh, sword and we get 10,000 guard XP. Damn. All right. Well, that was worth it in itself. Put the word in it for your commanding officer. 
You're now level 13 guard. New foes unlocked. Uh, Beady-eyed death crow. Okay. Not bad. Rookie sparring guard. Now we have a level 18 sparring guard that we could do. Yeah. You've completed the Oblice. The next would be the Lost Shipment. Uh, I'm just going to run out of here. How soon can you use this, or how does this work? Ah, okay. Branoff's dining room? Cohen and Branoff's dining room. Did I find the uh, Branoff manor? Is that what I saw earlier? Oh, just looking. Yes, Branoff Boulevard. All right. Let's get to the town square. Yeah, this is pretty cool. First impressions, I it definitely has that vibe of of RuneScape, which with just a you know more modern view to it. And it's a fresh day one. So again, I mean the first two chapters, this area, and I believe the next one are there's new locations, and then each location gives you more professions and all that. This one is completely free. The next area is completely free as well. And then I believe after that, you either need the premium pass or a one-time fee. Not sure. I'm going to look, take a look at those, see what exactly it is. I'll have more info on the next episode. But for now, that's it for this one. Again, if you enjoyed this, leaving likes does help out a ton. Let me know if you plan on checking it out or if you've played RuneScape in the past. And uh, for now, that's it. So I'll see you all in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.